well, this is where we ended up. It is a Saturday post Tokyo Auto Salon. We're going tomorrow, but we had to come out to Shibuya. It's Gabe's first time back in like five years. Yeah, I've been back since 2018, so. 2018, almost six years now. And I was in Osaka too. Pretty yeah, cool so, to be back in Tokyo. Right? You haven't been in Tokyo in a while. Dumb long. Oh, yeah. Auto Boys. It's lit right now. Check it out. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. <laughs> The boys are out tonight. Look at this. So sick. Hey, this is super random. We came to Shibuya. Oh, and it's, it's popping. And it's popping. Right <laughs> but you don't ever see this, though. Koda's supposed to come out. Nico's supposed to come out. Should be a good night tonight. I think I'm going to film everything for you guys. It's really cold, though. It started snowing earlier. It might snow again. Dang. The lowriders are out, too, tonight. It's crazy. The S15 in the back. Hey, okay. So apparently there's a car meet going on. It's a 15 minute walk to the parking garage. I made a vlog there before. Was that last year at Tokyo Auto Salon? But the homies hit us up and they said everyone's meeting up at the parking garage. So we're gonna walk there. It's a 15 minute walk from here. We're kind of just walking through Shibuya right now. Let's see if all the people are there. It's still early, it's like 9 p.m. Usually it gets shut down, but tonight might be a little bit different. We'll see. We'll be in there in 15 minutes. All right, we made it. I don't know if you guys remember the last video, but it's kind of the same place. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same place. This is like... It's like five stories. It's like five stories, bro. <laughs> we found it. A lot of the homies are actually here right now. I just call this a Mustang. That's <laughs> how much I don't care about American cars. That's a good Mustang, dog. That's oh, a good Mustang, dude. It's got a 5.0 five, 5 GT, dog. <laughs> That's pretty cool to have that in Japan. It's going to the side show, dog. It's going to the side show. It's going to go to Shibuya and start spinning itself. <laughs> Alright, let's see what they got up here. I think we finally found the spot. There's a bunch of people here. Hey! The boys are already saying what's up. I'll just keep filming, I guess. I don't know. Hello, oh, Jason's here! Yeah. <laughs> what's up, buddy? Nice to see you. How you been, man? It's good, been a while. Dude, good. <laughs> Look how fitted it is! <laughs> what? So Jason's here. He's actually the one who I bring my cars to back in Cali. Yeah, you guys look giant. It's like a toy car. Watch the vlogs, you know this is V1. Let's go. Hey, look who it is. Boy from Singapore. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's up, man? So, this is Project Midnight. I met them in Singapore. This is his company. Yeah, it's his company. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm not looking at every single car right now. I'm just gonna kind of do a walk along, but I'll get what I can. That's pretty proper. All kinds of stuff out here. Hey, they came on. What's up, man? <laughs> Hello. Yes, sir. <laughs> on the boys. Hey. What's up, man? Of course. All right, Rodney. Rodney's here. You <laughs> guys are like together. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is cool. All the boys are out today, oh, tonight. Hey, Koda's coming. Koda's coming right now, actually. NSX. I gotta get a good look at that. <laughs> There's a spec sheet on the windshield. Why, <laughs> Ronnie? All right, I don't know. It's kind of calming down. I think people are getting kicked out. It's pretty much done here. There's too many people, and I think they're kicking everyone out. But. Koda's at the top, he's waiting for us. We're gonna go link up with him. He brought the van, so we're gonna get out of here. I don't know what we're gonna do. Probably meet up with Nico. It was cool though. You got a no, little taste was, of the meat. That was fun, right? that was fun. See, that all the homies, it seems like uh, everyone from Cali's here. Everyone. Everyone from Cali's here right now. Yeah, we met so many people. It was fun. we've been drifting with for like the past 15 years. They're all here. All here. <laughs> it was like a secret meet. I was like, 
Did you try and go to Japan? Let's go to Japan. All right. You didn't even have to make phone calls. Everyone just shows up at the same spot you where there's cars. You know where to go. You know what it is. All right, we're going to head out of here. If we can find our way out, you remember where we're going? Yeah, up this right. Yeah. All right. See, they're not letting anyone in. So the coolest cars are just hanging out outside. He's my boy. What's up, man? What's up, gang? <laughs> Reunited. <laughs> Everyone's just parked up outside. Can't even get inside. Nico's setting us a location. We're gonna go eat, but we got Lujo back in the building. <laughs> Randomly, this guy just comes up out of nowhere, hops in Koda's van. We out, son. We're out. We out, son. We ended up at uh, Izakaya. You know this is the fire. Everything's good. Everything's good. Everything's good. Everything's good. I just ate horse. <laughs> Gave ate some uh, horse for the first time. I probably ruined my trip. <laughs> just ruined raw horse. Myself. I should have filmed that. So did Lucas. Yeah, throwing, first time for everything. Just throwing up on the slope. <laughs> Koda's always ordering the weirdest stuff. You be fine. You be fine. But I said, Koda, what is this? Raw horse. I said, bro, for real? Nah, you'll be fine, dog. Fine. Alright. Koda doesn't understand. Nobody has the JDM I trust, stomach. I trust my boys, bro. I trust and that's what I thought when I first ate raw chicken and I had yeah I died my JDM stomach is strong now I think <laughs> you have to build up your tolerance for raw foods in Japan Thailand Thailand has the worst well you got to build up build up build up the tolerance yeah. for their food yeah exactly. the ultimate test is when I went to Vietnam and I was just with all the homies and hitting up all the like random street food spots and you know Random ice in your drink, and you can't even drink the ice. I never got sick though. Like three of the homies got diarrhea. But that's a real thing. And I just kept pushing it, and I never, like, literally, like, at a stand where they're like ripping the duck apart, all the feathers off, and then deep fried it in front of me. And I'm just dipping it in, you know, who cilantro, knows what? Pepper, salt. <laughs> And it's fire. I'm like, damn, that, that duck was just live. I want to say Japan's a bit cleaner. <laughs> no, Japan is, Japan is top tier. I've still gotten really sick. I've ended up in the hospital a couple of times. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's going strong. We finally made it. Tokyo Auto Salon. Look, everyone's leaving. We're showing up. Hey, so right now. Like, last time I checked, sounds like a VIP show. <laughs> he came on the last day, which is Sunday. And it's like 3 p.m., 4 p.m. It closes at 6. Just gotta get it in real quick. Nothing Gabe's right never been. Lucas has never been. Is, uh, I, I feel like I'm in a live option video. You know, I've been wanting to do this since I was like 13, 14 years old. I'm a 34 year old grown man now. Well, <laughs> 20 years later, let's do what? Tokyo Auto Salon. Yeah, maybe. we probably should have came earlier, but you know what? I got kids. Things happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same every year. A couple different cars. I might not film as much. I'm not going to film film the same stuff I filmed last year, but I'll film the cool new stuff. But it's for the boys. They want to check out Tokyo Auto Salon, so we're heading in right now. All right, pulling into the first section. We have five of these huge rooms that we got to go through. Rotary GI6. It's a brand new car. Full motor swap. Screw it. It's quite freaking cool. You guys can't see how big this truck is. <laughs> Look how. Oh my gosh, the truck is massive. That's the dream right there. Oh my gosh. Until you get the maintenance bill. All right, doing American muscle different out here. This thing is actually pretty thug. Suicide door. I already spent $1,200 on four Janeiro for the S15. I got like two sets of everything. We're set, boys. I don't even know what's going on. Is it a drip car? I don't know. I would never drip with this much carbon, that's for sure. It's dry carbon, that's what it is. Dry carbon. Dry carbon. Yeah. I learned that from you guys from last video. I called it marble. <laughs> Remember oh, this thing? This is Rohabs, right? No, 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 no. This is the one that we always oh, see the on one with the, they, Yeah. This is the one. It this still lives. One. SR20. Is it a Juke or something? I believe it's a oh, Nissan Juke. I, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I've seen this thing. This thing was built a long time ago and they just keep making it better. Such an interesting car. Look, it has a full like S13 rear subframe, full SR. So cool. Tube chassis and all. This thing had me tripping because of one reason. They ducted the intake to the grill and that is so cool to me. I'm not really a V8 guy, but this thing is pretty epic. Well, that's freaking amazing. 
Kazuki Mad Lane. Finally, I see this thing in real life. So the story behind this, Friday, his straps came loose and I guess like his straps exploded on the front six hours before their, the event. He went home and repainted everything. Insane. You can't even tell. The thing's immaculate. How gangster is this awning? It goes all the way around. You guys are both about to buy this, right? <laughs> this is so cool. Hey, <laughs> immaculate. What? Not too much of a Beamer fan, but if I was to build a Beamer, it'd definitely be an E30. This thing is crazy. And we arrived at the Liberty Walk. It's crazy, this lineup. They made that 40 Blue this year. So there's too much music right now. I think I'm gonna do a little B-roll segment for you guys. So whatever I thought was pretty cool. We're ending with this freaking gym. Look what $20,000 can buy you. It's not an RV, it doesn't have an engine. You can't drive it, but it has bunk beds. You have your dining area, your queen size bed, your shower, toilet, kitchen, and you just tow it around on a regular trailer. It's the same weight as a car. You have the windshield. How freaking cool is this? This is my most favorite thing out of everything. And I think Gabe's about to buy it. <laughs> I, I mean, bro, I can tell this is the Land Cruiser or the FJ. Anyways, I think we're just gonna get some food. I'm tired. We only had about two hours to walk around. I bought a lot of Origin parts, but we're gonna head out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed that little segment. Sorry I didn't film much, but there's always next year. I wasn't gonna film, but um, first all the drive Prius I've ever been. <laughs> we came out for a snowboarding trip with my brother and his girl. We're in Nagano and it is snowing. It's gonna be fresh powder tomorrow. We're all gonna go boarding. I was just gonna enjoy the time, but I might just film a little bit. We're going into Prius in this deep of snow with no chains. This should be interesting. I've never been in a taxi in the snow. Are you guys seeing this? Look at this fresh powder. No car has even driven on this side yet. I'm pretty sure we're in a snow blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I can't see. <laughs> oh, sick right here. That was insane. So this is natural hot springs. So the water is actually, it's actually freezing. I'm not even gonna lie, but <laughs> it's supposed to be hot. Maybe, I don't know but he said it's natural hot springs water coming through the ground. We're here though. I'm so excited, guys. I'll try and film what I can, but I'm probably not gonna film much. I'm just letting you know now, but we out here. Stayed in this hotel last night. It was pretty cool, but we got snowed in. Almost 90% of the parks are closed right now because it's insanely snowing right now. Look at this, guys. So we don't even know what to do. They said 20 minutes for the next taxi, but pretty fail. Oh well, we're in the snow. <laughs> so we've been stuck in a snow blizzard for the past, I wanna say six hours, hoping that the weather's gonna get better because they said that the weather is gonna get better. I don't even know where to go with this vlog. I guess I can show you guys where we are right now and how the resorts are here in Japan. I mean, it can't be too much different from America, but this is not where we stayed. This is just like a really popular hotel everyone comes to and the ski resort's right outside, but they've got the little dining section here. 
the food was fire. We've been here just rubbing out. Everything's super good. It's a little bit pricey. I mean, for the size, it's not that bad. This is probably a $20 plate. They've got pizza, pancakes, these mixed dishes. The place was good. They have a little like omiyage tourist type souvenir place over here. But it is cool. I mean, we've just been exploring the place and you know, they have a bunch of random goodies. You guys ever seen this? This is pretty interesting. Chili oil with the little rice crackers inside. A lot of the stuff is made here, so you can only get it here, like the sake and that kind of stuff. I'll show you guys what it looks like right now outside. It's insane. <laughs> Absolutely insane out here. Zero visibility. Look at that. Look at that. We can't. We already did one run, but they already shut down the lifts. We can't even go out. Everything's closed down. People are literally just walking up the hill and just, <laughs> I don't even know. This is by far the worst snow day we've had, but we're having fun. I'm with my brother, his girl, I'm with Leah, and we're just making the most out of our time here. I figure I'll just film whatever I can while we're here, whatever's interesting. Well, conditions aren't any better, but we're gonna see if we can actually go out. Everyone's going, they finally opened the lifts up. It's like five o'clock, it's getting dark, but they have lights, but it's pretty bad. Are you having fun? Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> We're having fun now. Yeah, we're all having fun. Yeah, that's all that matters, right? <laughs> Here's the update. Josh said he needed his wheels changed, so I flew all the way to Japan just to do this. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the FD wheels on the NSX. You want to drop it? Is the other side already tight? Let's go. Now, would you take a look at that? Looks so race spec, 265s all the way around. It doesn't look bad at all. I actually want to run it like this for a little bit, just so I can take Gabe in the NSX, because we haven't been able to drive this thing. These wheels wouldn't fit. I took these off Leah's car, and it's low disc, so it keeps hitting the brake, front and rear. Put a spacer, made them too wide. These are kind of sunk, whatever, but we can drive the car. Check out Leah's car. We got the GMRs on here. Now, don't get it twisted, guys. These are replica wheels. You can say that because it is copying a wheel, but the quality of these wheels is insane and they're made in the US. So you really can't hate for them making quality wheels because all the wheels in Japan are discontinued. So they're giving you the option to buy these things brand new, good quality. So for example, this is the Minerva replica, right? But Minervas are ridiculously expensive now. So. Why not get you some GMRs and you don't have to pay that tax? How can you hate, guys? Really, I see the comments. Stop hating. Grab yourself a set. You won't be disappointed. But this thing's looking pretty good. I gotta install the upper arms on this thing, give it a little bit of camber, and put the kit on. And this thing is gonna be absolutely fire. This thing, on the other hand, needs stock wheels. I'm gonna put the stock wheels back on this thing. This looks hideous. This thing is basically bone stock, so why not just put the OEM wheels? I'm kind of feeling this. Let me know what you guys think. To me, this is ultimate, like, JDM spec. Looks like I'm back in the 90s. Anyway, so we're gonna take this thing out, see if it rubs. I did raise the front a little bit because it was way too slammed. Kind of looks raked out a little bit. The front does look higher, but it is rubbing already. I can hear it. You're good. There's a car behind you. Ooh. It does look freaking cool though. It's rubbing on the inner fender liner, but that's okay. Sick. Well, we're taking the Ferrari out, but we gotta silence it because my neighbors are so pissed right now. Oh my god. All right, well, we ended up at Lawson's because this thing is way too loud to be in the neighborhood. It's freaking insane, I'm huh? Loving it. I'm like, <laughs> what do I do with this thing? <laughs> this thing's ridiculous. I gotta get some B roll.
NSX needs a bit more tweaking. I do want to get proper wheels for this thing, but it is what it is. The other wheels did not fit. So this is what we got for now. I think it's growing on me. Not gonna have it like this for too long. I already ordered the proper wheels. So waiting on those is the first time bringing it out and I don't even know how long. It sounds so good. Man. It sounds so Everyone good. Everyone this engine. <laughs> yeah, and my neighbors don't even let me start it. They're they like, call the cops. Once a month, doctor, I'm calling the police. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm glad you got to drive it. Hey, I'm calm, bro. Like, it's gonna be the like hook the cruiser till it's legal. Yep. For sure. But we are giving it away. Have to. <laughs> All right, stay tuned, boys. I don't know what we're getting into. There he goes. He's out of here. See you guys. Ah. <laughs> uh, back at the airport. <laughs> I feel like I'm here quite often. So you going home next, Mom? Yeah, next time. <laughs> Stick the crown. This thing looks good. I got the kit on already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan's back. I'm back. Back to normal vlogs. <laughs> Well, back to the normal grind now that Gabe finally is gone. We didn't feel much while he was here, but we we're just trying to enjoy the time. Now we have Jordan here. Grind. <laughs> back on the grind. Gabe left yesterday. He was only here for 10 days. I know he was supposed to be in the vlogs quite a bit more than what he was, but like I said, I didn't really feel much. But it is what it is. We're headed to Nico's right now in the UK. I've been dailying this thing and it's been amazing. And it's actually Jordan's first time seeing this car. Finally. And being in this bro, car. I really want an EF. EFs are so expensive, bro. Really? It's stupid. Yeah. My last EF I sold I for like it was like 26k my last oh, EF okay. I sold. But you can still get one of these. Yeah, these are really expensive now too though. They're like 30. How about EGs? EGs are like 22, 23. They're expensive, man. You buy a mansion in the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> so Jordan's been in the Philippines for the last what? Five weeks. Five weeks? Dang, that was yeah. fast, dude. It was fast. Holy moly, what have I been doing? I've been building my S15. We're gonna go check out the S15 right now where we left off. I could have finished it. We were on like day five and all I needed to do was cut the brake pedal and put in the intercooler piping and the radiator. But I got kind of sick while Gabe was here. I've been chilling today. I feel a bit better so I'm able to get out of the house. But we'll give a little update when we get to Nico's. I bought a new car for a customer. That's what we're gonna be working on today. You guys will see it in a bit. All right, we're here at Nico's yard. This is the Honda Acti I just picked up. I brought Gabe to the auctions with me. I didn't really film. I was just showing him around, but we ended up leaving with the K truck. I had a customer who wanted one. ASAP can source you guys a K truck if you're looking for one. We're gonna do a couple things on this thing. It's got some surface rust in the back here. I'm gonna do a little bed liner. Not really a bed liner, but like a chipping coat. I'm thinking I'm gonna do chipping coat along the bottom, make it all clean. We're gonna put some work equipo ones on here with some new tires. We're gonna make this thing all tidy for the customer. As far as this thing goes, Nico's already got the radiator in, finished the intercooler piping. We're pretty much ready to get this thing started. Gotta do all the fluids, cut the brake pedal, cut the rear fenders, put the wheels on, wide body, and this thing should be good to go here in a couple days, guys. But we're gonna wait for Nico to get here. He's not here right now. I'm excited. So me and Jordan are gonna start painting. All right, we got this thing covered up for the most part. The idea is to just do the truck bed and the edges. Eh, maybe this thing too. Let's see how good this turns out. I didn't realize how much paint this is gonna take. You guys see how there's a reflection in the paint now? I've been tweaking with this little thing, trying to detail the thing. I'll show you the before. Look at this, freaking chalkboard. There's no shine at all. It's pretty bad. And boom. So I'm just working around the truck while we wait for the paint. This thing's coming together. Food break, Kokoichi. Jordan hasn't had curry in a while. This is the best. We just walked here from Nico's. Check it out, they have drive-through. Do you know that? Huh? You can order drive-through. Oh, what? Kokoichi drive-through. All right, let's go. Oh, yes. This never gets old. You got scrambled egg? Heck yeah, half scrambled. Whatever that means. Smash this. 
All right, I forgot to take a video of after we ate, but <laughs> we're back at the yard. Still don't have to paint, waiting for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start detailing this side. I already did the front and the side. Let's see how good we can get this. Well, I don't know how good you can tell in the video, but we got a reflection, boys. Look at that. Not too bad for a 1990. This thing's gonna be good once we get this whole truck bed painted, everything detailed. Just waiting for Nico to get back so we can start jamming on this bad boy. Another day at the yard. Yesterday, we jammed out a bit on the SF team. Dang, military's going off right now. It's a military base and they just fire off 50 cows all day. It's crazy. But yeah, I'll get back to this thing. I'll update you guys on what we did on that. But, jeez, <laughs> insane. This thing is freaking beautiful though. Look at this thing. This just came to the yard. Anyways, we got the paint and we are ready to finish up the truck bed. I'm by myself today. Nico's picking up cars, so I'll be jamming on this for the next couple hours. I guess we start now. All right, it's looking good. Chipping coat is finally finished. I just went around the edges, I painted this thing. Probably gonna have to touch it up a little bit more, but I'm gonna get all this tape off, and see how good this thing came out. That's satisfying. Ooh, perfect lines. Dang, this thing came out amazing, guys. Pretty stoked on it. Two-tone look. I already painted the gas tank with the chipping coat. Came out pretty fire though. The masking job was perfect. I'm just treating it as if it was my truck. The customer didn't really care what I did with it. So last touches, I'm doing the chipping coat on the inside of the car. So I already finished this side. You can kind of see right through so you can see all the black and the white just looks old and crusty. And look how good this chipping coat looks. Way better. We're gonna get this thing all finished up, get some seat covers for this thing. It's coming together though. This thing has come a long way. All right, I gotta finish up jamming on this thing. All right, we got the other side done. We are almost done with the K-Van so we can start jamming on the S15. Food break. Look at these $3 bentos that I never knew existed down the street from Nico's. He only shows me now. We're gonna smash this and then update on the S15. Hoo-ya! Look at the fire right now, this is nice. Hot. I'm too tired, I'm full. We're gonna start jamming. So yesterday, literally everything is done. All the wiring, all the plumbing. I just need to hook up all the sensors for all the Defi gauges. I have so much sensors and wires, but we're pretty much done. The moment of truth. Is it gonna start? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. You wanna turn it on, Luke? I'm standing back, this thing might blow up. Just flick it over. Okay, a couple things are different in the fuse box. We just added them. Oh, Nothing? All right. I'm going home. 